Bob here with my next book, Premium 7 Android 2.3 Gingerbread Tablet that I just got for my birthday. First thing I noticed when I powered on the tablet, it has a proprietary marketplace on it. What a bummer. I don't know why these lower cost tablets have proprietary marketplace. I want the Android Marketplace Google Play on this tablet. So since it's brand new, I don't have any apps on it, haven't configured it, I've decided to reflash the entire tablet with a custom ROM and I'll be able to install the Android Marketplace that I want. I'm going to go through the process and demonstrate it because I haven't found a video on Google that really goes through it start to finish. So here it is. This presentation is based on the information I learned and provided on freetab.com. So stand by and we'll go to the next session of the video. And hopefully I'll be a success. To get the downloads, go to www.freaktab.com, F-R-E-A-K-T-A-B.com. Set up an account for yourself, log in, and click on the Remember Me option. When you get to the site, you will come to a forum. page down to the ROM hacks and mods development. Click on Rock Chip Tablet Routing Request. Go down to entry number 315 and you will see the links for the Rockship tablet. Now notice on the bottom the poster is recommending that we use the 1211 1.5. So even though that's not the one he's using, I'm going to go with a recommendation and download the 1211 1.5. Go to the next book, 7P1211, right click download file, click save as, download it into the folder of your choice. And the download is complete. Next step, we will open the folder, the zip folder, and go to your folder with the download. You'll find the zip file. Open up the zip file. Inside, you'll find another folder. Just copy that out back into your download folder. And that'll unzip the folder that you need. It will take a few minutes to do that. Just give it a few minutes. We speeded it up here for the purposes of this video. Now 
Then open up your unpacked folder. Have all the files you need, including a very detailed README folder. Study that README folder that has all the information you need to upgrade your tablet. You almost don't need this video. This video shows you what to expect, but study the README file before you proceed. And proceed to the next step. Plug in the USB cable into your next book. And to your PC. Do not worry if the tablet is on. It may power on when you plug in the cable anyway. Next, open the computer's device manager. Now when you connect the tablet to your computer, you should get an error message saying that Windows couldn't install the device, and that's actually okay to be expected. Unfortunately, I didn't get that captured on my screenshot. But following along on the instructions, we want to open up the computer's device manager, and then we're going to proceed to the next step. Notice the screen has changed. You may also see a screen like this. Turn your tablet over. Stick a pin in the reset hole. and release. And the screen turns black. The next step, I'm actually in the device driver, but I'm following the README exactly. I'm already in the device driver, but I want to get out of the device driver. And I want to get back in because it said to open up the device driver. You'll notice we have the unknown device, so that's our tablet, because we still need to actually install the device driver. I want to select Update the Device Driver. I want to browse to the location in the unzip folder where I downloaded and unzipped my device driver. 
So navigate to the folder. Appropriate for the version of Windows and the type of machine. In my case, it's a 64-bit Win 7. I'm going to select OK. And install. It's going to take a few minutes. We have this warning, and we're going to go ahead and say install again. It's going to take a few minutes. I've edited this for time. You can see the install was successful. We now have the device and the driver. There's a question mark there, but that's okay. And on to our next step. Then it powers up. And plug the USB cable back in. And now, stick a pin in the reset button. Then the screen goes black. And we are now in flash mode. 